Hi there, Ivan from the LaCroix Cruiser, here to answer a question that I read a lot on many of the groups concerning towing something with a GM bus. Now, I'm here in the engine bay of the GM bus, the engine is out of it, and I'm going to show you a couple things, and I'll let you decide whether you should tow or not with your GM bus. The GM PD series, or parlor diesels, were monocoque buses, meaning there's no actual frame to the bus. The whole body and everything supports itself. Now, the engine itself is on a cradle. Let me flip you around here. So there's the cradle. So the engine is supported on this cradle. We have motor mounts there. And another motor mount here that hold it to this cradle. The cradle itself is held in to the back of the bus with four bolts. Yes, four bolts. That's it. Now, two of the bolts go on the bottom, there, and there. And two of the bolts go at the top. So, right in here. And this frame member goes up all the way to the roof of the bus. That is what is holding this 4,000 pound piece into the bus. Now when you're towing, you're pulling basically your load with these. On the door side of the bus or on the curb side, there is a slot with a bolt through it. And on the driver's side, there's a ball with a bolt through it. This is the bolt. So two of these are pulling all that weight. So they drop, they drop in there. Now those two bolts are what are pulling all the weight, transferring to the cradle. From the cradle, we have the slot here, we have the ball there. The cradle itself, it goes, We have the two rods on that side. On the fan side, we've got this frame member. They cross over. Let's go over to the other side. So there's that frame member again up here. And there are those two rods. And those angle brackets have a metal rod that runs from there so that bracket and that bracket there that are on about a 20 degree angle, they come up to here. This piece is part of this frame behind the bumper. So that is what you're pulling with. Now, as far as holding the weight up, again, you have those two areas that are resting at the back and then two rods like this. So this is quarter inch thick angle iron, two inch by two inch. And through that hole goes a bolt. It matches up with this hole here. That is what is supporting the weight. So if you're putting a heavy tongue weight, it's pulling down on the roof of the bus, including the engine. So that you have the weight of that engine plus whatever tongue weight you're putting on that is drawing, that is pulling your trailer. But it's also supporting all this weight. Remember that. So can you pull something with it? Yeah, not a problem. Um, we pull a Jeep with ours all the time. No issues there. There's no no stress cracks in the frame. We sanded it all down, everything was fine, no problems. Would I put a tongue weight on mine? No, I wouldn't. Um, but again, your choice. Now that you've seen how it's engineered, it's your choice to make. If you have any questions, comments, ideas, or thoughts, always feel free to leave them down below in the comments. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell so as we make these videos, you'll know when we're doing it. Thanks a lot, have a great day.